Okay, hello, this is once again Rocket Band Boy, otherwise known as Lunar Shadow 69, continuing the demo from before of how to create custom songs for a Guitar Hero 3 for the PC. Alright, first a couple of lists of things that I need to mention. Um, firstly and foremostly, if you don't like my voice, please deal with it. Um, you're going to have to deal with it for you know the next couple of tutorials. And in the last video, you might have seen the flicker um, that was happening at the rock meter and the score meter. Um, that was just because my computer was kind of blowing up and stuff because of the pressure, but uh, that's it's not supposed to happen in any of your computers at all. Don't worry about it. Um, the cheat that I was using is you hold down the green fret and then strum twice, but that cheat only works in version 1.1 of the game for PC, and on every other system including Xbox 360, PS3, and the Wii, it does not work. So. You're going to have to download the patch for version 1.1, which I'll go over that as well. Okay, let's begin. Basically speaking, there will be three programs we're going to be using today, the same as we were using in the last tutorial. It's going to be chart to chart um, which is a program created by LEFF Lef at scorehero.com. Very, very useful. Um, we'll be going over feedback, which is the bulk of this tutorial. It's going to be what you need to really create your custom songs and of course the song with editor from last time to import it finally okay now you're gonna to want to use the same stuff that I use all the time so if I could please direct you to go over to your favorite web browser Firefox or whatever and go to these two URLs right here I've put these on the URL these URLs on the dis, uh, the description of this video, so you can just go to those hyperlinks and click them. I will be using RapidShare, which is a file hosting website, and I've put two things on. It's a package called Guitar Hero 3 Custom and Demo, and also the uh, Guitar Hero 3 1.1 patch. This is the official patch from Aspire and those people, so don't worry, I didn't create it. I could never create it, but here it is. Alright, now go to your web browser and go to those two websites and go ahead and say free user on both of them. And because this is rapid share, you're going to have to wait for a couple of seconds. Um, usually if you have actually paid for this, for example if you have a premium uh, account then you can do it, but it costs a little bit of money. And personally, you don't really need it, so just go ahead and click free. Alright, and now you have the opportunity to download it, just click that button. But because I actually own this file, um, I actually have it here, so we don't need to download it or anything. But um, all you have to do is just click it, and then you're free to go. And put it into some kind of um, folder. I put mine into a so-called workspace. Don't uh, name it that if you want. You can do whatever. And by the way, if this link or either of these two links don't work, please let me know through a comment, preferably nice, but... I will try and put it up again as quickly as possible. Thanks. Alright, you can close out of your browser and let's get to custom editing. Go into that folder. You see right here there are two things, the patch and the RAR file. What you'll want to do is you're going to want to extract this one and just say you might as well into a folder like that. And by the way, an RAR file is um, a compression which is kind of like .szip but however you need to use WinRAR um, in order to extract it. So you can go to your browser again and search WINRAR as one word and the first thing you'll see will be able to download it. Alright now let's just delete it for uh, spaces sake. And now let's go into the folder. You should have these five things right here, the chart program, the feedback program, the song list editor, this folder called Sweet Child and another one called Demo. Okay, you'll be wondering why I put those two in. Those aren't programs, by the way. For this tutorial, I will show you, right from scratch, how to make your own custom songs. And this one will be Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Very sweet. Alright, just for demonstrations purposes, I'm going to go into Sweet Child and show you exactly what we're dealing with. Alright, there are four th files in here. All of these are OGG. Um, if you download the proper codex, um, you will be able to play it with anything, but if not, you can use something like VLC Media Player, and that'll work just out, just out fine. 
The four things are guitar, notes, rhythm, and song. Notes is a MIDI, which you use to import. Guitar is the guitar track, rhythm is the bass track, and the song are the drums and vocals. This one I'll show you is just plainly Sweet Child. Uh, whoops. This is just Sweet Child played by Slash, otherwise known as Saul Hudson. Alright, and now for the rhythm track, which was performed by Duff McKagan. Okay, and also now for the other part, which is the song called, it's the drums and the vocals done by Axl Rose and Steven Adler. And that auxiliary guitar part was by Izzy Stradlin. Okay, now that you know what you're dealing with, um, let's get to the song editing. Go into feedback, double click it, and you'll see these bunches of things. This is not the demo that I'm working with, by the way. Right here, you'll see this um, so-called feedback. It's an exe file, and double click that. You might want to resize the video that c the f frame that comes up. This is not the screen that you'll probably see. What you should see is something that says what language you want to use, choose your appropriate language, in this case obviously English. Um, but in that case, you have this uh, help file which is automatically what it pops up to. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly everything that this stuff does. Don't even worry about a thing. So you can press ESC for now and close out of it.